What's up everyone? Okay, so I've been meaning to make this video for a while now, um, but I didn't want to freak you guys out or take away or be a distraction from my video reactions. So uh, I decided to just move on and forget about it. Um, but now that I'm seeing so many people still catching this thing and dying from this thing, um, I thought I would share my experience uh, with it just in case it helps anyone who has it or is worrying about getting it. So in late February, um, I woke up with a sore throat and, you know, I didn't think much of it. You know, it was, it was, it wasn't too bad, but, uh, um, and I have a pretty strong body. You know, my, my body usually gets rid of things like this pretty quick. Um, but it just kind of kept lingering throughout the day. You know, I, I took my vitamins, drank a lot of water, did what I usually do to kind of um, you know, stop it or get rid of it before it gets worse, which I, I'm usually pretty good at. But this time, it just did not go away. And then later in the evening, I started to feel these little light body aches, um, like just um, almost flu-like symptoms. They're very light at that point, but still I could start to feel like little aches and pains in my, in my torso. And then and, and even later in the evening, I started to feel just constantly out of breath. And that's when I started to get a little concerned. <laughs> um, but I managed to get a decent night's sleep that night, and then I woke up and I was just coughing and coughing. And, uh, and my, and my flu-like aches started to get more intense. And I just started, and I, and I, and I had a, like a loss of appetite. I didn't want to eat anything. And that's when I was like, okay, I've been hearing about this COVID-19 coronavirus thing. Don't tell me I got that thing. And um, I think I caught it while I was at the gym. Uh, the gym I used to go, that's the only thing I could think of where I could have caught this thing. And this is in February, late February, when only like a couple hundred people in the United States had it. It wasn't even a real thing yet, um, like it is now. And I just thought I was the, I was like, great. I'm, I'm, I must be the most unlucky person in the world where, you know, uh, out of a couple hundred people, I'm the, I'm the one who gets it. I'm like, oh man. So that's when I started to do my Google research on like, what the hell is this thing? What to expect and all that. And I kept, and I, and I saw that people were actually dying from this thing. And I'm like, uh, then the, then the, the nervousness, the panic starts to set in like, oh my, oh, what, what if I'm, what if I'm one of those, those people that, that actually die from this thing. And I started to get really nervous and, um, I started to get really anxious about this thing. And, um, and so, but I st I saw that, you know, it usually just, you usually just got to get a real, uh, you usually just get a lot of intense flu-like symptoms for a few days, five to six days. And then it usually leaves your body slowly after that. And so I, I was like, okay, okay, this will be gone in like five, six days. Um, I, no problem. I can handle that. And the next day, day three, the coughing was just even more intense and, um, and then I was starting to feel really tired and the fatigue was really setting in and I, I just didn't feel like doing anything. I literally did not get out of bed. Like I stayed in this room um, nonstop, 24 seven. I didn't, I didn't move, I didn't leave the, my room. And um, I was feeling really lightheaded and I was just constantly just sleeping, you know, just randomly just dozing off sleeping because I was so achy. And I even just moving a little bit in my bed, I felt just, I felt dizzy. It was just terrible. And yeah, right around day three, day four, that was like the peak of the discomfort. Um, just headaches nonstop. And just the body aches were just, it's like someone was punching me in, in, in my chest and in my back and, you know, all over. And I just was so sore. Um, and then just the lightheadedness, the dizziness, you know, it was even, you know, even for me to just walk down to the kitchen was just like, ugh, it was just like so much work. And, and you know, I would, cause I would like almost fall down the stairs. I would get so dizzy. Um, and after like two weeks of this, I was like, it's, it's not getting any better. Like what the hell? And you know, the people, people said that it would be gone in like a week or so. I wasn't getting any better. This is, it would, it had been like two weeks of just, just feeling like crap. And, um, coughing all the time and uh i was actually doing reaction videos through the month of march feeling this bad and so if you guys watch my my video reactions in march just realize that 
I'm in a lot of pain, I'm in a lot of discomfort. And, um, but I will say, doing those reaction videos and, and interacting with you guys really helped me get through it, get, get my mind off it. So that was actually, I would actually look forward to doing those video reactions, even though I was straining to kind of keep it together. So that's, that's what your man does, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so it was just not getting any better. You know, three weeks passed and I was not getting any better. And this one, I, I started to really get concerned at this point. I was like, is this thing ever going to go away? What's going to happen? But my symptoms weren't getting any worse though. You know, I was still feeling like crap, but it wasn't getting worse. And I was breathing okay on my own. You know, I decided not to go to the hospital because I was breathing well on my own. I, I thought that would just make it worse. And I didn't want to get out. I, I didn't want to leave my house anyway. And so I thought I would just ride this thing out in my bedroom um, and just hope for the best. And that's, that's exactly what I did. Um, finally, after, after four weeks, after a month of just constant, every minute of the day, just discomfort, um, my body started to win the battle a little bit. I started to feel a little bit better and I was able to do more things physically. Um, and then, so I think I was finally just completely done with it after like five weeks. But yeah, five long weeks of just the worst discomfort you could think of. And just, just, just imagine a really, really intense flu nonstop for four or five weeks. It's just terrible. Um, the things that helped me though, um, the things I took were eating oranges, uh, taking NyQuil, eating chicken noodle soup, and drinking a lot of water. Um, that I think really, really helped me get through it. Uh, and so uh, that's, that's just what I did. Maybe you guys have a different regimen, but that's what I did to make me feel better throughout that time period. Um, so yeah, that was my COVID-19 experience. Um, um, I lost like 15 pounds, <laughs> uh, during the four weeks. That's why, you know, back in the, my early reactions, I was a little, little fatter in the face, but and now I'm a little slimmer. Um, but uh, it wasn't planned for me to lose weight like that. But, you know, I, yeah, I lost a lot of weight really quick. And um, and so that was my COVID-19 experience. Um, some of you may have had or heard of different experiences going differently. And um, I'm okay now. I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm healthy as a horse now. But, yeah, that was a scary time. Um, but uh, I managed to survive and get through it. Uh, and... Um, I'm really speaking to, I'm mainly speaking to my U.S. brothers and sisters. And listen, y'all, if we just do what we have to do for a couple of months, if we can all just get on the same page and do what we have to do, we can be done with this thing, all right? And, and then start getting back to normal, you know? Um, so let's just be smart, be responsible, and even when you don't feel like it, just be responsible, and let's care about each other, you know what I'm saying? So, and remember that, you know, we are all just temporary residents on Mother Earth, you know what I mean? So, you know, you be good to her and she will be good to you. Um, anyway, that's it, y'all. That's my experience. Um, I'm hoping it gives you a little bit more information and insight into what this thing is and what it, and what it does. Um, if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. I'll try to answer them. Um, but that's it. All right. And thanks for watching. Uh, be good to each other and take care of yourself. Stay healthy. And I will see you next time.